Is it chat? <coughs> Record or... is on. Oh, hello. This is the quarantine music chat for July 12th, 2020. Uh, our host, usual host today, Doug, is out on vacation or in the world somewhere. And uh, I'm Caleb Ramsey, and I'm hosting today uh, with Lance and Sam. And today's topic is uh, website features. Um, anyone want to kick this off with the? Uh, um, I can definitely say something that I don't like to see on music sites is when you open up a site and there's music auto playing. That oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's. I think yeah, I think that's one of the worst. It's, One of my favorite music blogs that I've shared the link to a few times has that problem, unfortunately. So I always have to like click the pause button on the music whenever I open it up. <laughs> you know, I was on, uh, it wasn't a music site, but one time I was on a graphic designer's website and they had a video that was playing, but no music. But it was really cool because the background of the website always had this video playing and going on i thought that was really cool but i did notice that they never had any uh you know any music which you know i think for the reason you're talking about that it's a really distracting thing so yeah that's cool i you know something a website i use all the time is bandcamp and i've never understood why why i can't shuffle all my music collection in Bandcamp. I mean, I guess I guess that feature would probably add all kinds of expense onto their website, which is probably why they don't do it. And it would probably even have to work different, but it is kind of an annoying thing for me. But uh, I don't know. Lance, any, any dislikes for you? Uh, I'm a, I guess you might say I'm a control freak when it comes to my music. <laughs> I want to play it when I want to play it, how I want to play it, no interruptions, start it when I want. So what I usually tend to do is download all my music locally from whatever sites and then run it off of uh, local video players or local music players. That way I yeah. can it and I don't have to, oh wait, we're gonna pause for twelve ads or this or that. I don't I don't play that. Yeah. So, I, I don't use I don't get ads on Bandcamp, but it's it, it's just I and I shouldn't complain because I love that website and I love that I get to support the artists. And that's, that makes me happy. So uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you though, excuse me. No, it's fine. Uh so um I, I've, I've tried like Spotify and Pandora, but I don't like that um, I wasn't able to skip music if I don't want to listen to this or whatever. Or if I want to, um, oftentimes I don't like suggestions because they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Are, do you ever have you ever paid for it? Because I think if you pay the features you don't like, you don't have you don't have that problem with anymore. No, because I, it's like a chicken and an egg problem for me. I don't use it often enough to pay for it, but uh, I don't use it often enough because I don't pay for it. I guess I don't know. So I just don't. yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I've found a lot of people uh, do that though. They they'll complain about something and then you. Then I, I'll be like, but have you ever actually, you know, paid for it? And then those things won't be happening. But you know, a lot of people just don't want to pay for stuff. So I, I don't have a problem paying for stuff if I can do more of a, uh, a, a better try before I buy. Oh yeah, that would be great. I think that's a great feature on sites when when you get to tr try things and then. Uh, for a certain number of days or whatever, and then uh, decide whether or not you want to buy it. I think that's a great point. But I yeah. also don't like pre-entering credit cards and uh, automatic renewal. <laughs> so that limits a whole bunch of sites. Yeah. Yeah. 
I agree. You guys hear any new music this week? Yeah, those links I sent to the group. Oh yeah, the, the uh, I was looking at that. I, I meant to buy when I have some money. I was going to buy the album and check it out. Uh, what, what was the name of the artist? Again? Pablo Sanchez, I think. Can you put that in the link here. I, may, I don't know if Lance has seen it, but yeah. I got this album of uh, this week, and it's it's the Alternative Particle Choir. But uh, David, off the, uh, I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. Uh, Olifant. Olifant. I know I'm pronouncing. He uh, and Alan Bishop are on it from the Sun City Girls. But they they have a they go all the way back to Arizona in the early '80s. But it's an ambient album. The album is like dark ambient. And it's pretty interesting. You know, I'm surprised Victor didn't show up to, because uh, I, I friended him earlier and I thought he would show up, but I don't see him. So um, Anyway, so I got distracted. And another album I got in the mail was this uh, Anthony Braxton with Eugene Chadbourne, and it's a free improvisation album. But... And it's nine nine CDs, so it's quite a quite a bit of free music there for two guys to put out. It's really impressive. It, I've been listening to jamming out on those two albums this week for different reasons. Uh, but yeah, what are some things that you love that when uh, music websites have the features, you know, or um i guess just like um like when it's pretty simple to like figure out like if you can actually like listen to an album on the website before you download it um, oh yeah just like yeah. how when someone like shares a band camp link and then it like pops up with like you can like play that album through the website link and you don't have to go all the way to the Bandcamp page. Um, oh, that's great. That's nice. Oh, wow. I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. Then. I always am just on the site. I never just, I never just click the links to listen like that. That's interesting. Um, I like it when, uh, I know Lance apparently doesn't like this, but I like it when they try to recommend stuff and some of the website or some of the websites or apps, do that better than others like apple itunes is not weird enough for me and they never recommend anything that i would even remotely try to listen to but uh but yeah. but bandcamp does a, a decent job uh pandora used to do an amazing job i haven't used pandora in a number of in a, quite a while like maybe half a decade but but uh they used to do a pretty good job. I, I just guess I guess these days I'm pretty much word of mouth almost. I, uh, the way I get music. So, do you use Last FM at all? No, I've never used that. Uh, can you put that in the? I've heard of it, but I've never used it. Can you put a link in the chat, please? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What? How's that work? Uh. Basically, you can download the app, and then when you play a song through iTunes or Bandcamp, it counts as like one play on the website, and then it bases that play, and then it like gives you recommendations on other artists. So, for instance, um, is it Last FM? Yeah, Last FM. I've heard of it. Yeah, okay. It's fairly popular. Yeah, I, I've heard, I've heard I of it. I it a few years ago because it kept duplicating my play counts, which is weird. But does it eat up a lot of data on your phone? I don't know. I don't use it on my phone. Oh, okay. Um, I just use it on my computer. Yeah, some. I already have so much data used on my phone. It's like the last thing I need is an app that's just duplicating data. But <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Does it cost money to use it? Or no, um, it's totally free. 
That's um, nice. I wonder what how they're making money. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, it, you know, it, you got to be making money somehow with this site. I don't know. Maybe they just rely on ads. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. Or I don't know. They get a lot of hits. I bet that Doug would know the answer to that question. I, uh, They've I been active know. since 2003. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on. I like it when I can search for artists and actually find the music on the sites. And I also, are either of you audiophiles? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, you want you want to listen to things on a really nice sound system with really really nice sound quality. Uh, I don't think my sense of hearing is sensitive enough to be able to tell between adequate and superb. Yeah, th there are certain sites that feature. Uh, like the music's geared towards uh, audio file recordings. Uh, let me see. I, I, there's one in particular that I thought about. But when I got on the site, because I, I love audio file stuff. Uh, when I got on the site, though, what my issue with that one was is they didn't have all the weirdo stuff I'm looking for. So... <laughs> It, I didn't go too far with it. I can't remember what the name of it was. Uh, now, this one, this one. It's not, it's a big name, too. Uh, oh, I'm not totally ever. Uh, what is it? The streaming, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, uh, Tidal's one, right? You guys ever try Tidal? Tidal? Yeah. No, I haven't tried that. That music software? What is that? It's a, it's a high-fidelity music, uh, like, app and uh, audio hi-fi membership. Hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried it for a little while, but they didn't have the music selection I wanted, so I was kind. I got out. Hmm. But. But uh, I don't know. I love listening to really nice systems, and I do not. I can't afford one, but. Uh, when I used to live in Arizona, a friend of mine had a hundred thousand dollar audio system in his home, and we I used to go there and hang out, and we'd listen to the music. It was pretty amazing. Like there's some record labels, like uh, one of them I think uh, that specialized in hi-fi recordings, um, and one of them like records direct to to the wax. So so when they're recording a what is the name of that label? I have some records downstairs, but I don't want to go in them. I'll think of it here in a minute. But uh, what's great about the labels, when you're listening to it on a really nice system, you can close your eyes and you can point like, hey, there's a, the horn player's over there. This guy's over there. That guy's over there. So your image, your sound image is really clear. It's really amazing. Feels like you're at a concert or something. Well, see... Maybe I'm being pedantic because that's what I do is that you can have an adequate sound system instead of superb that's still arranged properly in your room with front and back speakers and, sure. and all that. And you can have a really great speaker system, uh, sound system, but it all set up at your front of your room and you won't get the acoustics. That yeah. You so um, I don't have either. <laughs> so. Yeah. But I mean, I love it. Like I know, I know 
certain size speakers. You're, like I have some audio speakers to record on. They're monitor speakers. And they're supposed to be like a good six or seven feet away from the walls, you know, when you're right. playing them. And uh, but I only get to do that, you know, certain times in my life when my wife is not needing to use the house. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. One day, maybe one day when my ship comes in, maybe I'll have a special room for, for this kind of stuff. But I don't now. My neighbor does, though. My neighbor next door to me, he's got a room where he can listen to hi-fi uh, stereo system room. And that's what the whole room is for, is just listening to hi-fi radio. It's pretty cool. Or uh, sound. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't mean to get off the subject. I was just talking about title a little bit and what what that would be about. Uh, what, uh, what else should we talk about here? Um, hmm. I really don't visit websites. That oh, yeah, yeah. What are some other features that would be interesting? Uh, hmm. I like it when you can communicate with the artists. That's something on Bandcamp that I've really enjoyed is that I can communicate with the artists. And I've gotten, I collect autographs and I've been able to get some autograph things that way which is pretty cool. Uh, and also you just keep track of musicians that you're interested in. Is that actually communicate with the artist or communicate with an agent of the artist? Cause I've seen too many. It depends who, that, you know, it depends. It depends on the band. Like a lot of the bands I buy from, I'm communicating directly to the artists, but some of the bands, you know, you're not. So, and they'll tell you that. Like I, I, uh, I ask that, you know, is it possible to get an autograph? La, 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 la. And they'll, they'll tell me, unfortunately, you know, we won't be able to do that. And uh, so, and that's pretty great. But a lot of, sometimes if it's a smaller band, you know, they are the ones that are running the site. And even even a bigger band like, uh, oh, who's the band that I saw recently? Um, sea Feel. You like Electronica. You might like yeah. Sea Feel. Uh, Can you sea, spell that? Yeah. Uh, you might like this band. You ought to give them a listen. Um <sighs> Anyway, the uh, they're pretty cool. They've got some cool stuff out there. And anyway, the uh, they they were really neat in that they were they're a pretty well known band. They, in the '90s, they were kind of like uh, they came out around the time Apex Twin did and whatever. And and uh, they were one of the first artists that were you know using computers with music and things like that. Or well, in the way that you know the Apex Twin and people on that label were doing that. And, uh, but they were really cool. I, when I saw them live, I got their autograph. It was, it was awesome. I, I was really excited about getting to see them live because I didn't know if I was ever going to get to. But, uh, what else? Uh, net label, net stuff, net. What other features? Mike. Um, I guess for online labels, it's nice when they have a nice clear list of like each artist, and then when you click on each artist, it goes to their about me page. Um, and, and then on those about me pages, it like links to their like Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Um, yeah i was just thinking about i love it when site one of my favorite things about Bandcamp is that you can search for artists at their location like you can pick a state or a city and find whatever artists in whatever genre uh you want to and you can just look at for, uh, cities and see you know oh i wonder what kind of ambient music is in this city and see what if there's a scene or something i think that's really cool i've never i don't know is there another site besides Bandcamp that does that i don't know i uh 
I, I feel like that's really hip. Thing to be able to do. Uh, yeah. Another thing I love is when sites have, you can uh, organize the releases by a release date. I think that's really convenient when you're able to do something like that. Backwards or forwards or, or look it up by, uh, you know, by features or something like this. That's handy. What else is going on? Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunately, this isn't my main topic. Oh, well, what what would you like to talk about? You gotta fill an hour. <laughs> I don't know. I usually just actually have only this is only like my second one I've been on, so. Um, yeah. Uh, I have. I don't. I don't know. I. I kind of have very interest, but in a way, I don't feel like they can be categorized that well because I don't. Let's talk about your uncategorizable interests. My own. Uh, like I said, uh, well, I like '60s rock, '60s and '70s rock. The first. Um, song i remember listening to when i was a kid around four was my dad playing uh just wrote tolls teacher so oh sure i like uh just wrote toll the doors i got like almost all the doors albums um have you ever heard of todd tamer and clark todd tamer and clark no i haven't oh let me put him uh I think his name, I'm going to misspell his name here. Let me find the spelling of his name. But but uh, he's a Native American guy, and he almost got the role of playing, uh, of playing a uh, guy from Do Jim Morrison in the movie, The Doors. Really? Um, yeah, but he also is a great musician, and uh, he makes, uh, oh, okay, there it is. He makes the, uh, he's a Native American and he makes uh, just a lot of great techno industrial type music. He's pretty cool. He's got, he's been doing it since like the 70s or, so, or 60s. And this, I think, and uh, he's pretty, pretty interesting musician. I, I, I listen to some of his stuff too. He's got his own thing going on. Yeah. Pretty cool. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Apologies. No, that's that's fine. Uh, so, and then in the uh, about 2099, I got interested in the electronica, uh, and so I've been listening to mostly that over the past uh, 20 years. Uh, Paul Oakenfold's uh, mixes from '99 and uh, MTV Amp. I don't know if you remember that TV show. From sure. The uh, a lot of the songs off of there, um, the subgenres, I like Goa, Psytrance, some progressive, a little bit of ambient. I've got a lot of Tangerine Dream albums. Um, yeah, me too. That's, that's more like, I think of that as, uh, forgive me, uh, Krautrock. Krautrock, uh, like, uh, oh yeah. Wouldn't that be like Ramstein or something like that? Oh uh, no, uh, Tamarin Dream is is uh, one Tangerine. of them. Oh yeah, Tangerine Dream, yeah. So, you might check out Carl Stone. I don't know if you'd go for him or not, but he's pretty cool. Has some cool releases. I got a lot of. I you and I are interested in similar music. I think. Some you know who's really interested in newer stuff though is Victor, and he said he might be coming, but he's going to be late. I just got a message from him. 
there was a uh, group I got. Uh, if you friend me on Facebook, I'll I'll give you a list of stuff that to maybe you'll find something new. I don't know. I'm always looking for new music. I don't know if you are or not, but like. I love. I, oh, I guess we can just do it in the in the music side. I'll just post up in the quarantine music chat about some people, and we'll exchange some electronica or whatever. This might be interesting. Yeah. Jackalo with dances with rabbits. They're oh. a, a southwestern Indian group. Um, the song I like is called. No Pingo Ada. That's cool. cool. Sometimes I bought random albums back when people used to buy CDs more, which also happened when there were more CD stores and, <laughs> and I would carry stuff more than just the mainstream. I would just see an album that looked cool, like Jackalope. And uh, Dances with Rabbits. That's just a cool, instead of Dances with Wolves, Dances with Rabbits. It's a cool name, so I bought it. I also bought an album called, uh, this group called Shadow Facts, named after the horse from Lord of the Rings, but it wasn't quite my style of music, so I believe you're, you're a risk taker. I, I'm not that much of a risk taker. I, if I find an album I'm thinking about getting, even in the store, I'll look it up on the internet and see if I like it or whatever. Well, that That's was funny. 20 years ago, so now oh, okay. not much. I've got burned so many times because the CD cover looked really cool, and then I got the album, and it was, like, uh, not so great. So Yeah. <laughs> so I funny. Agree. I love ah, – that's exciting. I'm, I'm excited to listen to this later, to, probably after we get off the line here. The uh, Sam, did you fall out here? Or? No, I'm still here. Oh, cool. Yeah. The, uh, what else is going on? What was I thinking about? Yeah, Carl Stone is an interesting guy. And then, hey, are you, I don't know, uh, Lance, do you listen, do you guys listen to any, uh, well, you, Lance, in particular, might like this guy. There's a guy named Mark Masters. And I think he does really great music reviews. But he is, a lot of them are experimental, but which you might not like, Lance, but occasionally he does an electronica thing. So. Yeah, M-A-R-C. I think he used to do an ambient uh, ambient uh, review, too, every month, but I don't know if he's still doing that. He's working on a book right now. The CEO of Talk Radio Network? No, definitely not. No, here I'll link you to this guy. <laughs> I've got all kinds of Mark Masters. So. Right. Okay. Hold on. I'll link you to this guy uh, or something by him. Uh, on, I think he's on Pitch. He writes for Pitchfork a lot, but he's got all kinds of stuff. Ooh, here's. It came up for me when I looked them up. I don't know what you how you're looking for stuff. All right. Uh, I, I'll link you to his Pitchfork page, but he's written a lot of good books and stuff. Oh, Mean Perry? Who's Mean Perry? Or Mean Mary? She plays a great banjo. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I like great banjo players. I saw that's awesome. I saw a folk, uh, a gal that does great folk, uh, recently. Uh, what is her name? I don't, can't remember her first name, Re maybe Rihanna Gibbons or something like that. I, I'm, I'm getting the name wrong. I got her autograph, and it's embarrassing. I can't think of her right now, but uh, she plays banjo. Hmm. 
15 minutes and 20. All right. I wonder if I can look in here. Well, you might. I don't know if you'd like the or alternative particle choir or not. It was a pretty cool album. I'm. I'm really. I really didn't be digging it. It's uh, alternative particle. I'm digging it more than I thought I was going to too. I, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I liked the people that were on it, and. Uh, Came out great, I thought. Diners. Good album. I had to, I bought it directly from the artist too, so I'm not sure if you can buy it on a website somewhere or not. I I actually just bought it directly from the artist, so. Oftentimes, I get my music these days is finding the video on YouTube and then downloading the video. So there's yeah, I like I like supporting artists because I because maybe it's because I am one. So I I, I hate. So Caleb, do you have a website for your music? I gotta make I gotta make uh, some uh, an album. I'm I'm wanting to start an album. And make an album, but it's what an uphill genre? battle, huh? What genre? Like experimental jazz, oh. or jazzy experimental stuff. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm real nervous about it though because I don't know. I've never done it before. I guess that's why. So I'm nervous. I probably think about stuff too much. My wife thinks I should just record my practices and, and put them out as like releases. But uh, I don't know. Do you record things? No. Um, I used to play piano, but I was a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, what did you play? Um, well, I took piano lessons as a kid up until I was like 16 or 17. Oh. Um, and then I got bored of it. I also oh, I also played the violin in middle school. Oh wow, you that was great. See right my son right now, I, I'm teaching him chess, he's five. But I need to get him to start learning an instrument while he's five so he can be a prodigy, right? That's the deal. You need to start him at like three or four really, but I've I've waited a long time, but I need to start him on an instrument. I'd like to, I, he has drums, and he has a guitar, and he has a little piano, but I think maybe he needs a piano teacher. But, uh, that's something I've been thinking about lately. But with COVID, it's so weird. Everything's so weird, right? Yeah. I don't Every know. week feels like a whole decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like... Everything in my life right now is around this COVID thing, right? It's like, I'd really like to do this for my son, but the COVID might strike him. Like, he's supposed to go to school in the fall, and I'm really <laughs> nervous because, uh, because uh, you know, going to school, kids are germ factories anyway, and going to school when there's such a dangerous virus around is making me nervous. So... The, right now, the school system says they're going to have them come to school two days a week, and then they'll do homeschooling the other three, which is also a lot of work for the parents, right? I mean, but so yeah. I'm wondering. We'll probably end up getting a tutor if if we can to help out because I'm I'm. I'm going to try my best, but I'm not a professional teacher. Those people earn their money. That's not an easy job. So, nope. It's a tough job. So, Lance, this is like the first time I've seen you in one of these calls. Are you one of the Creative Commons music judges? Uh, I'm on Doug's team, the same team as Doug. Um, oh. I'm not. A music producer or creator. I tried to learn piano and guitar and accordion back when I was in grade school, but I never had the patience. So um, 
I play plus, stereo TV. Plus one for for tying the accordion. That's a complicated instrument. My mom won uh, trophies when she was in high school playing the accordion. She still plays it. She's only like five feet tall, and there are two accordions. There's the small one and the big one. And yeah. Of the two accordions, there's the the, the keyboard one and the button one. Uh, the bass is always buttons, but on the uh, on the main keyboard part, which would be the right hand, you can either get the button accordion or keys like a keyboard. Right. Um, plays the keyboard one, but she plays the big one, not the small one, which is heavy. Um, and so she tried to teach me it. I just I just didn't have the patience back then. Uh, ADHD and all this other stuff, I just couldn't do it. So my brother went through like a year's worth of piano in six months and was doing uh, recitals and all kinds of stuff and then taught himself guitar. He played clarinet and a bunch of other stuff. I just couldn't do it. So, Have you ever heard of a, a gentleman named Astor Piazzolla? No. He's this virtuoso uh, accordion player and Man, I love that music. Like Astor Piazzolla's music. If you've never heard it, it's worth worth checking out. I'll put it in the chat here. It's he's amazing. Uh, I would check out his suits for guitar. Hey, Victor, welcome. Hi. How are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> nice. So, Victor, what are some features that you like or dislike about? Uh, websites for music oh how to play player on the music website what when music player starts automatic playing when oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what sam said that's like the worst <laughs> isn't it yeah yeah it's funny i visited uh dubmatics website and they have auto play on this their website beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> that's great how have you been this week you hear any new music that you're excited about no, i don't don't think so i'm trying to fin finish my album Oh wow, that's exciting! When are, when do you do for release? Um, August maybe. That's great, man. Are you gonna just release digitally, or are you gonna release uh, like a like just uh, vinyl or something? I I will try to release some vinyl too, but. I don't. I don't know who will buy it. <laughs> I will buy it. I'll wow. buy one. Let send me a link and I'll buy it. Yeah, I'm excited to hear your music. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Hey, will you autograph my album? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Awesome. That's what I want. That's great. I wanted to ask what features should musician website to have? What what feature what I'm sorry, could you run that by me again? Oh, what features should be on musician website? Oh, good question. Yeah, what features should be on a musician's website? I like when there's an about me biography about the musician. Yeah, that's a great thing to have. Their background, what got them interested in some being a musician, and what their um, what other bands inspired them. Yeah, that's cool when they do it. I love it when you get when they. I guess on musicians' websites, I really love it when they link uh, all of their. Uh, all of their interviews and things like that all on a page or all of their releases on a page 
that makes things uh, nice for me. I think I also like it when they have a if you buy all the releases, they'll give you a, you know, they'll cut you a deal or something. I like that. Because when I listen to something, I listen to like I hoard it and then I listen to all of it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm real well, bad about that. <laughs> for me, what would be uh, nice, I guess. You were talking about what their um, influences are. I have yeah. listened to people, uh, and they say, "Hey, their influences such and such." And oh, great! I I like them, and I listen to them. I'm I'm like, how? What influenced you? I don't hear any of that. So it'd be nice if um, they would uh, mention what about that um, group. Uh, that music style that you that influenced you that maybe you incorporated somehow. Maybe Who are you thinking of? I don't know. I'm just. Oh. I don't have anything in mind. I'm just certain. Oh, that, okay. You know, my uh, inspiration is Fred, and like, okay, well, I've listened to Fred. You don't sound anything like him. So, what about Fred? You know, inspired you. Yeah. Especially yes. if on Wikipedia, they say, hey, you know, influenced by. And that's just someone writing it. It might be them, but they don't give any more detail than influenced by A, B, and C. I don't know what that means. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I don't know. Usually I can tell who's influenced by what when I'm listening. But um, I guess there have been occasions over the years where I've found people that mentioned someone and it's more of an esoteric influence. Like they noticed that so-and-so was doing something and they're like well i need to do something kind of like that but i don't want to do that <laughs> it's uh, kind of funny yeah you know, i don't know i mean In maybe like case. maybe getting direct influence like you know by copying someone like right now i feel like shoegaze has make it made a big comeback but I mean, it's hard to say I love shoegaze. I'm influenced by shoegaze and not sound like one of the big three shoegazers, like not sound like a uh, ride or my bloody Valentine or uh, who's the other one that I'm forgetting here. Uh, always gets mentions, not lush. Uh, it doesn't matter. But anyway, not, to get influenced by the, uh, in a way that's, not just straight copying the sound is some, worth something, worth doing. What were you going to say, Victor? I, will, I, will, I tried to say about Wikipedia. Mm. So when it's mentioned to be trip hop music, but it sounds not nothing like trip hop music. <laughs> It's making Who are you? Me so sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey. Uh. Let's see, Lance. You keep talking about a music called Goa. Is Goa. that Goa like from India? Yeah. The original Goa trance had a lot of oh. Indian, um, like chant it rhythms in there. In like the uh, mid two thousands, right? Yeah, let me find. I, I loved that too, man. It was really cool. It was a really cool sound, and I never was able to find the music when it was out. Uh, because so yeah, if you'd hit me to a few groups, I loved that sound when I was back in like two thousand seven or something. But I wasn't able to get into it because I was living in Missouri, and that they just didn't have a lot of that stuff going on then. And where I live, where I could buy stuff. Let me, I've got one right here that I listened to in my car that I like, and I am going to post in All right, cool. that right here. This has a lot of, uh, okay, Goa. It's called, it's labeled. Dark Forest Goa Twilight Progressive Side Trance Mix from 2013. Some guy put together. Um, it's got some good sounds. Uh, there are other subgenres that remove the 
mystical elements of Goa and just leave the harmonies and the, and the trance and stuff, which I also like. Um, so, yeah, it's named after the region. Yeah, I, I went to India uh, back around that time, too. I, I love India. It's amazing. It's really different, you know, from where I grew up. And so everything was uh, yeah. an eye-opener. Pretty inspirational. I would love to, man. I would love to. I, I, uh, yeah, hopefully you could help me plan a trip sometime. That would be great. To where? Where Victor lives. Which is where? Kazakhstan. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. Cool. I want to visit Russia and stuff, so. Close, but not the same. Yeah, that would be a great trip. We'll have to talk about that sometime, Victor. When, when things aren't so crazy here in this country, I think our, like I, I'm getting banned. I may, I may be banned from going there. I don't know because they, I think to go to like the UK right now for the U.S. citizens is a difficult thing to do. I don't know what it would be like to go to. Eastern Europe, but uh, right now a lot of Europe has banned the U.S. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I was trying to talk about. Yeah, it's kind of Why? crazy times. Why? Because our COVID nineteen is out of control here. People mm -hmm. aren't wearing masks like they need to. Don't get me started on that. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm on the other side where the media is misrepresenting the numbers, but I don't want to get into that. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Same stuff here. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. One. Well, I've mentioned some uh, Go Trust music mu musicians in chat. Yeah, so let's see. Astral Projection, yeah, one of their songs. Uh, what is the name of that song? Maha. I know there's this one song that they've got that's really famous that was, uh, or their most popular. I gotta look it up now. But anyway, yeah, Astral Projection, Telemasca uh, Spongle. Daddy Lippers, also Mahadeva. Mm -hmm. Was it uh, the one by uh, Astral Projection? The song is it Mahadeva? Yes, that okay. I like that song. Yeah, Mahadeva. That's, that's cool. I have to check that out. I was I just looked him up and I, that came up so. That's great. Yeah, that song is in that dark forest Goa um, trance collection. Um, if you go to that. Oh, I guess they're Israeli trance. Oh, wow. I didn't know this. Yeah. Uh, this is oh. a different area. I'm not really in. It's cool to learn about this stuff. Here's one. Let me get, find this site I like. It's really kind of interesting. Hey, Victor, who's Sensun? It's Ukrainian band. Awesome. Also in Go, Go Trends. Sensun. Take a look at this site. Yeah, well. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's so, like general atlas. Yeah, it is. It, it goes from uh, top down and left to right, doing from like soft, from more. I don't know. They have like a little legend telling you. Well, my name begins with Legend Tech House. So, at near the top, 
is like the, uh, I guess, more of the tech, and down near the bottom is more towards the, I don't know, classical and with the genres where they mix and everything. And then left might be more. Uh, I love these websites you're finding, Lance. Yeah. They made me happy. <laughs> well, it's with examples. Well. well, and the thing is, is each one of these, you can click on the link to get a audio sample, or they will have a little arrow next to it and click to that arrow and it will go to you, uh, bring you to another page with just examples of artists in this genre. That's cool. So if you click on the right arrow, the little double arrows, Russian quotes of Goa Side Trance, uh, you will find uh, uh, Acid Moon on the left, which I haven't heard of, Amplified by Night on the right, some other random people on the left. I mean, in the middle, well, in top to bottom. I haven't really heard much of Go West Side Trance, though. Anyway, but they have that for uh, all kinds of different. There's a J pop girl group one, if you're into J pop girl groups. Park Smith. Let's see where Dawn belongs. Is Dark Synth or Synth Way? So I'll look at that. Yeah. Here we get, in case some people really like Goa Trans. Oh, really? What's yeah. the pull for it there? What, what, why do they like it? Where? What? What are the features of Goa <laughs> Trans that people like in Kazakhstan? Maybe it's rhythm. The, well, yeah, there's lots of music with the rhythm. Uh, are there other features in it that are make it distinctive? And I think it's yeah, crazy squiggle noises. Cool, crazy squiggle noises. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. That, I love it. That's great. That would do it for me. Well, the stuff I was listening to in like 2006 or seven, like the thing I liked about it was that it had all these like Indian instruments that would come in with the no and the rhythms would be different than just the like boom, pa, boom, 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 pa. You know, like it, the, the, the rhythm would be so different from what I normally hear in techno with what I was listening to then. But I, I'm, I'm excited to listen to this Goa trance stuff and see see what that's about and it's really exciting so we got two minutes left guys uh, we can go a little over if you want to but i'm easy just hanging out can you give a credit to my to my website what can what you? oh sure Great. What it should have and what shouldn't. Oh yeah, be glad to check it out. Do you do you do web design or someone else is designing it? No, I, I do myself. Wow, that's a lot of hard work, Victor. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> it is. It's a lot to know about. It looks great, man. Did you did, did you design it in Flash or what? No, it's. It's all on CSS and HTML. Awesome. It looks amazing. It's great. Thanks. Let's see. Home blog. Online marathon for pet pod. There's movie content. On Cosmos. Successful yet.
I guess uh, that's pretty cool, man. I think your site's pretty cool. I maybe on the you do have a community as well. Cool. Yeah, it looks good to me. I mean, I don't have much to complain about here. I guess maybe on your I the only thing that came to mind is like when I li- clicked on your uh discography, it, it went straight to Bandcamp and I don't know. I think it'd be cool to just have your albums on the page and then be able to click to each page on Bandcamp, but going to Bandcamp and it's pretty much doing the same thing I'm talking about, so maybe I'm just being uh weird. <laughs> no. It was just easy, easier to to make a whole new page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I understand what the deal is. I like the background image. Yeah, me too. Can... Yeah. That's cool. When did your album Be Well come out? Uh, I I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, it might be a, Feb- nice to have like dates on releases. Having dates on releases might be nice. February, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Must not listen to my album. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna download your stuff uh, when I get the chance to. This is great, Victor. I'm taking one of my favorite strings. I'm excited to. Listen to your music, Victor. This is going to be cool. I hope so. <laughs> How do you? I'm. You're. You've done a lot of stuff that I. I haven't done yet. I'd love to talk to you sometime about how you did that. Like how how to release to vinyl or you know like this interesting topic to discuss. Damn, I can't tune. Huh. No have you ever released a vinyl? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I found some web- website that uh, can help you to release on vinyl. It's, oh, that's cool. I work, I work on vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. The great thing about vinyl is that you, the artwork's bigger, and you can actually read text. If people want to write something in there, you know, you can actually read it. At a scale you can see it, it's great. That's what I love about vinyl, anyway. I mean, I'll, some people think the sound's really great, but most people are recording digitally to vinyl, which I don't think leads to any better sound than normal. Like, you'd have to record the tape and go to vinyl, and uh, that's expensive. So, I don't know if a lot of people want to do that, but I don't know of anyone doing that really. Except, well, never mind. I guess the audio trolls or something are doing it. How do you troll? Yeah, that's a website. I think Doug may have talked about it, or I can't remember. But uh, there's a website called the Audio Trolls, and they talk about how to make uh, vi- how to bring vinyl into fr- fruition, and uh, it's a pretty interesting site. That's a lot of people doing it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, fellas, I got a. I'm kind of on a schedule today. I've got to sign off. If you okay. guys, is that okay? Or you guys have any final things you want to say or add or talk about? No. For me, it's okay. For you, what, Victor? It's okay. Okay. I had a great time today, guys. Thanks for meeting with us. I didn't know if anyone would show today for this. So since <laughs> Doug was gone. So hopefully, I got to figure out here how to stop the recording and save it. But I'm just saying, uh, yeah. Bah, 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 stop recording. Okay. All right. That.